Hi, we still don't have a name for this thing. We're Jim and Brianna. I'm Jim. I'm Brianna, even though you just said my name, so I don't know why I need to go into that with that, but. I'm, part, it's part of my training. So we wanted to do a little bit as the storm moves in on uh, our story, how, how we got together, because it was stormy and it's a metaphor. Like a lot of things in life, there's, there's deep meaning even in simple things. He's losing it in his old age. Why don't you start? Blue skies and sunny. Tell him your story. Tell my story. In 10,000 words or less. I can't count and talk at the same time. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> um, I am actually from Ohio. I was working for radio stations in the Wheeling, West Virginia market and in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania markets. Um, I was just doing sales. Um, okay. I just want you to know, this is not a, a fancy Yeti. This is a uh, this is a Walmart. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. This is a fancy Yeti. That's a fancy Yeti. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um. So, so I was married, got divorced. I have three kids as a product of the marriage, right? Product of the marriage. That sounds right, right? Three products of the marriage. Yikes. Um, and some things that happened to my younger two. Um, I guess we'll go into that. At a yeah, later medical stuff. Date. Um, but my son, the doctor said that he needed to be near water. So before he was able to start school again, we took a little beach trip and he was like a normal kid again. And so I went to my boss and I said, um, are there any sister stations that I could transfer to? And that way I don't have to kind of start all over or do anything like that. Just an easy transfer with the same company. Um, because it's just, it was great to see Freddie being normal again and my boss had said no but I used to work in the Destin Fort Walton Beach Florida area and he said I probably still have some contacts go home check it out look up the area see if that's something you're interested in and I can make a couple phone calls so I went and waited a day or two kind of looked at everything and went back and I said okay let's let's see if you can make a phone call or you know see if there's anything going she on she did there. her due diligence on the area and and it's gorgeous um so he made the phone call and it just so happened that um a gm that he had worked with previously had a sales position open that had an account list so basically it's a client list um or a list of clients that are on air or could be on air in my case. Um, so to help jumpstart you. Yeah, it give you kind of a little jump start, um, especially relocating into the area, that kind of thing. Um, so they brought me down to check out the station, check out the area and all that kind of stuff. And that's actually when I first met Jim was when I was on the interview. He, well, you want to tell a little bit about yourself? I was already working at the station. I've, I've been in this market a long time and I was already working for this company. It's old. And uh, yeah, there's a little age difference. Don't know if you've noticed, but um, so I was used to people coming and going. In sales. Especially and radio. in sales. Coming and going a yeah. lot. But we met the first day, talked a little bit. Uh, I saw her actually walk in from the parking lot that first day. I, it was, she was hard not to notice. <laughs> it, it was hard not to notice you. Uh, but with that said, I was I'm married. Hit it off. I was in a marriage that was heading towards divorce, and we'd already had conversations about my ex and I about divorce. But nobody really was moving the ball forward. And uh, she ultimately came here and. Um, a couple weeks later. Started doing sales started dating in the area so it's not like we uh had any kind of relationship there at first but then a couple mm -hmm. months later she had a client who wanted a live remote which is where we show up with our band and music and everything and the dj shows up and which i was a dj and that was He's first star i'm the behind it the is scenes i am person. a huge i'm a huge star um so that was our first time working together where we actually just sat and talked for about two hours right yeah it was a while mm -hmm. so that's really was the beginning of us becoming friends and that was in August well two years ago in between Thanksgiving and Christmas it uh, 
<laughs> my personal situation, it, it was more and more evident that uh, the, the marriage was not going to survive. Um, nor did I want it to, to be quite honest, because it had become one of those, it was like Groundhog Day, where you would try to address the same problems and things get better for a little while, then the same problems come back up and it just, nothing ever gets resolved. And so we were both miserable. Both my ex at the time uh, and, and I were miserable. So it was just going nowhere. I mean, we've got, we had ample evidence of it. So around the first of the year, the decision was made uh, to divorce. It was a mutual decision. And uh, I moved out at the end of the first week of January. Well, by that time, we had become very, very close. And I knew I was falling in love. Nothing happened when we were, when I was uh, still at my ex's house or what, at our house. Um, but uh, again, we agreed to a simple divorce. So three, four weeks, it was going to be over. Well, that's not how it worked out. The uh, Let's just say complications arose, and what should have been done somewhere in end of January, beginning of February, wasn't over till August. Um, during that period of time, from end of January through August, we tried to, I don't even know if you we ha we were in a relationship in that we were madly in love with each other, but there was still this it was hard adjudication hanging over uh, the whole thing and until that was done which makes perfect sense until that was done there was not going to be any way for us to begin something uh, the with, right way the real without way. all the baggage yeah. right the real way so that was a tough period of time and several things came up that we'll, I'm sure we'll get into down the road um, because that's part of the reason for this vlog. It's not to sit here and just tell you everything about us and oh, listen to our story. It, it's about challenges as a couple. It's about challenges as a now an extended family. It's about challenges with kids. It's about challenges with work and how they, those things, uh, how those affect your personal relationship, your family relationship. Uh, <laughs> your future goals and achieving your your dreams and the things you want to do it's um i i tend to get stuck in the same place and i have this pattern of getting all excited about something new and then i talk myself out of actually being able to accomplish it. and uh but not with me uh, no not with her <laughs> but there are still things that, again there's a big age difference she helps me with my confidence on the other side of the coin you know i have to believe it and so I struggle with that. There are some things she struggles with. So we're really hoping that work-wise, family-wise, relationship-wise, you know, we'll share some stuff with you. Obviously, things we have trouble with, other things that we struggle with that we find that we figured out an answer that maybe will help you. So we and, don't have any answers. Don't look at this channel no. for answers. <laughs> no, we're, it's kind of we're all in this together. If of course somebody has to actually watch it. But so that's our, our Reader's Digest version of how we met and got together. And now we live together. We moved in together in, in January. Yeah, everything in I January. described was uh, mostly 2017, moved out January 28th, first week of January 2018. And we moved in together. And I went through a job change. No, changed. wait a minute, it wasn't that fast. Yeah, it was. No. I got down here in June. No, I moved out in January of 2017. 2017, right, 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 right. 2017. Yeah. And we moved in together in January, end of January 2018 this year. Okay. Yeah. There's a time, I don't do math. He's old. Oh my God. And she always goes for the cheap one. It works. We're the last group of people on this planet that it's okay to discriminate against and belittle and make fun of as older people. Are you really going to go political right now? Yes. I'm going to make old people great again. All right, that's enough. All right, we're out. Uh, On that note. No idea what we're going to do next, but we'll try to do these like once a week, maybe. For reasons known only to us. We have no idea. Unless something happens and we're really ticked off when we need to vent. Have a good day. Love you tomorrow. Love you, mean it. We'll see you on the next Why are you one. Why loving people? Just say goodbye.
Why are you telling me what to do? We're wasting uh, time, daylight, film, batteries. Bye. <laughs>